Well, it's time for a quick update. Let's go see how our first electric fenced rotational grazing paddock did. Well, behind me, you can see the part of the electric fence that we've left up. We've made a new paddock and uh, you can see the grass is certainly higher on one side of this fence versus the other, but uh, it's pretty easy to see, especially where the fence is, but um, it's pretty easy to see actually where the fence isn't too. Like here, for example, here the electric fence has been taken down because this is actually the other side of the paddock that I've moved them to, but um, pretty clear where they have been and where they haven't. So they were on this piece for about a week and a half, and that's six cows on it for about a week and a half. Um, the actual size of it is probably something like four acres or so, maybe somewhere between four and six. I don't know. I haven't done really accurate measurements or anything like that, but it's pretty clear they definitely ate it down pretty good in that time. So you can certainly see the difference, especially up close. I mean, here's new area that really hasn't been touched and here's where they've been. So they did a pretty good job of eating it down. They did a pretty good job of beating it up too, as far as, uh, you know, jamming their hooves into it. And which is actually, I think, gonna be good in the long term because it takes all of the uh, stuff that I've cut down and kind of pushes it into the soil, hopefully get that mulch put in. And you can see, you know, as we go out to different parts of this, you know, they haven't completely scoured the grass, you know, to the point where there's nothing left. And we don't want that. Uh, you know, you could argue that maybe it's a little lower than ideal for pulling them off, but you know, it is what it is. It's my first shot. So we'll see how well this works, but definitely pretty happy with the amount of eating down and trampling that they got done here. So that's good. So hopefully we should be able to keep them off of this area for at least eight weeks. Um, I'm trying to do two week paddocks out here. So we'll see how well I do with that. This one I actually ended up only using for a week and a half, but the next one's quite a bit bigger. So hopefully we'll be able to keep them off this for at least eight weeks before we go back to it. And that'll give the grass hopefully plenty of time to come back and hopefully come in nicely. And here you can see, this is the new paddock that they're in. It's probably at least twice the size of that previous one, it might be three times the size. Again, I haven't been real exact with my measurements here. So we're gonna try to give it two weeks on this one, see how much they eat it down. But you can certainly see as we go down, there's, you know, quite a bit here. And of course, this has had another week and a half to grow past, you know, what the previous one had to start with. So there's a good amount of stuff here. So hopefully we'll get at least two weeks out of this. We'll see what it looks like and then we'll either pull them off and send them to the next one, or we'll keep them a little bit longer if we feel like there's you know, more here that they need to eat up. So just kinda, kinda play it by ear with these. And I have cameras looking at these areas um, all the time, so it's kinda nice that I can kinda get a look and I can pretty much from the camera take a picture of the field at the start of it and then you know, take pictures along the way and from those pictures be able to see hopefully how much the grass is going down so i'm going to try that with this paddock because i have a camera looking at it real well well our cows seem pretty happy on the new paddock not shockingly there's you know more grass so i'm sure they'll be happy with that they tend to kind of make rounds they sort of make a circle come back up and get water make another circle come back up and get water and they kind of do that all day long um, at least from what i watch on the cameras out here so anyway we should be hopefully getting the herd together. We gotta get the calves banded and then we can get mamas and calves out here with the rest of them enjoying the pasture area. So um, hopefully we'll get that done today. And then um, I got an equipment cart to build and um, whatever else I happen to think up between now and then. So anyway, we got more projects and we'll see you soon.